Hi, my name is Roman Khan and in this video I'll be showing how to add course policy in MuleSoft API Manager. I'm currently logged in into API Manager and what I have here is already a API Manager which is configured to this particular URI. Navigating to this URI will return a success status text message. Now let's go back to the API manager and look at the policies. And as you see, there are currently no policies configured on this particular API. Before we add any policy, let's try to request this particular URI using a JavaScript framework. What I have here is a simple web page, which is using AngularJS to request a URI and in this case I have pointed the particular URI to the Mule API. Let's browse this web page now and as you see enter URI is pointing to the Mule API. I'll hit request now. So as you see the response is indicating failed and if you see the console in Chrome you would see response of pre-flight request does not pass access control check. So this is a course error which you would get if you're trying to access an API using a JavaScript framework within a browser. So this is a limitation on the browser. Now let's configure API manager to enable course. Coming back to the API manager, now let's apply a new policy. Select course cross origin resource sharing policy. By default, public resource is selected. If you uncheck it, you see options where you can specify origins, control the max age, control the methods, headers, and exposed headers. Let's select back the public resource and say, open this particular domain for all the public resources instead of restricting to a particular domain. However, I would not recommend you doing this on production. Let's click on apply. And once this policy is applied, if I go back to the web page and request the API again, I should now get a success response. So let's go back to the test web page. I'll refresh the browser so that it clears everything. Now let's hit request again. And as you see, we got a success response back from the API and there was no course error thrown. This way we are now able to allow the API to be called from a JavaScript framework like AngularJS in this case. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you.